Welcome to the Expect Success Podcast, a presentation of georgebollock.com with your host, George Bollock. This podcast is for all things personal development. Don't expect success, prepare for it. Please welcome your host, George Bollock. Welcome to Expect Success at georgebollock.com. Now, in addition to listening to our podcast, you could also view the video format on YouTube at georgetube.com. Dr. Morten T. Hansen is a Norwegian-American professor, management theorist, motivational speaker, and author. If you want to perform at your best, break with convention, and try new ways of working, Morton's your man. This UC Berkeley management professor discovered the secret to performing better is actually doing less. Listen to Morton. When I started out in my career, I had this fantastic approach to succeed. Work crazy hours. I put it 70, 80, 90 hours per week. It turns out to be wrong. When I became an academic later in life, what I really wanted to find out was what explains top performance. And to study that, you have to study a large number of people. And I settled on 5,000. So it's across corporate America. It is across jobs, industries, high-level people, more junior people. So the main finding is the best performers, they do less. They're able to prioritize on a few things that really matter for performance. And then they go all in on those few things that matters the most in their job. These four principles let you master your own work. They add up to what I call work smarter, not harder. In other words, the majority of the performance difference between these people can be explained by these key practices. That's the first factor. It is the idea of, of do less than obsess. There's two components to it. So the do less mean do a few things, but then you also need to obsess. In other words, you need to excel in those. You can't just be average performer. You have to say, how can I go all in and be so good at those few things? Now, the second question then is, what should you focus on? And here people focus often on the wrong things. And I call this redesign for value. It means you have to start a job and saying, what are the things that uh, I can do that create the most value? The third principle is what I call the learning loop. It's the idea that you take one skill and you keep on improving it by getting measurements on how you're doing and by getting feedback on it and then modifying your approach. The fourth principle, which I call P-square, is combining passion and purpose. Passion is about what excites you. Purpose is do what contributes to others. The challenge is how can you tap into more passions at work? But we think of passion as being just a task that you enjoy doing. It could be a creative task, it could be sales, it could be with customers, whatever excites you. If you want to improve your performance at work, figure out your priorities and what matters the most and say no to other things. And once you've done that, go all in on the few things that matter. Prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. That's awesome. For more about Morton Hansen, simply search YouTube and be sure to visit his website, mortonhansen.com. His best-selling book, Great at Work, is available at his website and or amazon.com. And remember, as the late great Jim Rohn used to say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Today I've been hanging out with Morton Hansen. Keep up the momentum. Subscribe to our newsletter so you never miss another episode. We'll catch you on the next show. And thanks a million for listening. See ya. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Expect Success Podcast with your host, George Bollock. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please rate, subscribe, and review. And find more great content online at georgebollock.com and on Facebook and Twitter at George Bollock. We'll catch you next time. And remember, don't just expect success, prepare for it.